Hey everyone, I've got something special for you all today. I've saved some of the highlights or the weird random happenings from the first quarter of 2017. Like the time on January 1st when I bombed two mouses out with just a single 1,000 pound bomb from my B-57B. And yes, I suicide bombed them. You do what you gotta do sometimes for the team. It won't be the last time you see it in this. Or the time Road to a Decent PC was using his ZSU-57's secret turbo boosters. And yes, it actually did move him faster. It's pretty hilarious. Or the time a plane crashed right past my stoop. Watch the left side of the screen here. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Or the time the two spaghetti crates collided in front of me, both trying to get the kill on me. Or when I killed this IT-1 through some trees with my Sheridan. Now I knew he was there already from seeing his missiles previous and I tracked him based on the smoke from him taking a hit there. But still. Or during the New Year's event for the LVTA-4 and the Type 62, when my squad mate, Gravity Cat, flew right through both of my bombs, completely untouched. Or during the same event, these two miracle snapshot kills I pulled off in my Stoop G. Or when I tried down, tried to knock down a tree to clear our sight lines for me, myself, and Black Rhino here, and this happened instead. The best part is I didn't take the tree down. Or still in the New Year's event, when I got this yak kill. And it wasn't all my events that happened either. Sometimes I was just there to witness it. 
Like when this teammate in a JU-87 got a quadruple kill and he didn't even drop all of his bombs to do it. Oh yeah, and three of those kills were airplanes. If you look down at the bottom left, you can see all the kills at the same time mark. Amazing job there, guy whose name I can't pronounce. Or, the time this Yak pilot survived a collision with the ground, or maybe he didn't actually hit it, but even if he didn't, watch how close he comes. Still crazy. Or the time I gave a couple of no-good spawn rapers their just desserts. Two rockets, two kills. Still totally worth it. Or when this P-47 got his bombs off at the last second and the wreck crashed right into my camera view. <laughs> That's always funny. Or this P-47 engagement. The near miss with this other 109 right here was nearly a highlight moment of its own, but the best was yet to come in this battle. He had the presence of mind to drop his last bomb. Hilarious. I couldn't even be mad, it was just so funny. Or this underwater citadel that you'll recognize if you've watched any of my World of Warships videos recently. Now it didn't cause a lot of damage, it's true, but hey! Underwater citadel! Or these Takao Tuesday Torpedo Beats, which is the other half of my World of Warships intro currently. Both of these happened on 15 January. Or this full speed, luckiest shot ever in my Conway. Remember, this is before stabilizers and the Conway doesn't get a stabilizer anyway. It's too bad it didn't kill him in one shot, that would have been the best. Or when my Carnarvon gunner taught this ME-410 pilot a very hard lesson. Sometimes the moments happen during planned videos, like during the first 10 for my IT-1. But sometimes they run planned and accidental, like when I accidentally bombed an F4U in my Arado 234C. Uh. 
or my inverted Ta-154 kill on a Russian Lend-Lease B-47 who was hot on my teammate's tail. Or one of the oddest kills I've ever gotten in War Thunder. I still can't tell if this guy's the best B-25 pilot I've ever seen or the worst. I really can't tell if he's doing these maneuvers on purpose or not. Or when I stuck up behind a BSU-57, execution style. Success. That was it for January. February brought highlights like when I flexed my long-range Conway muscles underneath this bridge here. Or this ME-262 kill in my beloved Sea Fury. Or this ME-410 pilot who refused to surrender. Ever. <laughs> Or when I accidentally killed an ME-262 with a 4,000 pound cookie. Or when I delivered some precision cast with a couple of 250 pound bombs on a Yag Tiger. Or when I nailed a Saber F2 with a hot missile.
And one last time in super slow-mo. Or this, the softest no gear landing I've ever made and took almost no damage too. Or when I pushed my FPE timing to the extreme limits to get a shot off on this Tiger II Porsche turret. Do you think he was angry after that? Yeah. Or there was the time when it was totally duck season. <laughs> or the time I used the IT-1 to get two kills with one shot. or when I accidentally bombed yet another aircraft out of existence. Or the time I showed a couple of BSU 57s that their kind wasn't welcome in this here town. or when I continued my success in the Sea Fury with 500 pound bombs this time. Or scrape the paint off the underbelly of my cannon barra to deliver some monarchy on a T-54. You don't get too much lower than that in a dive. Or the Centurion Mark 10 sniper shot on a T-54. Or this inverted rocket kill on an attempted spawn raper. Or when I showed that Jerry what for? God save the king! Or this little sequence where I rocketed a mouse, then chased a stolen typhoon. And then finally, snapshot at a Horton with a 20 round burst. I was getting used to the air targets here. Thirty nine rounds left. Nineteen rounds left. We're 
Auto's coming back. Heading straight to you. That was it from February, but March had its moments too, like when I dealt with this pesky Arado 234 Charlie after a timely call out from Old Guard. Did you get him? Why, yes, I did. Nice. Or this absolutely gorgeous rocket trajectory. Followed a few moments later by these laser straight rockets. On the same guy. Sorry, dude. It wasn't all highlights, though. Even though this hot hit its target, check out what happens with this next one. Yes, you saw that right. It flew around the T-54's turret. And then later on in that same battle, this random weird goofiness happened. And then the very next day, the hot missile did it to me again. But just a moment later in that same battle... And from a little later that same night, just in case you guys aren't as tired of seeing hot missile fails as I am... And just a short while later, that very same night, I experienced what I consider to be a most dubious hellbreak. All in all, not the most fun night ever in War Thunder. But back to some positive highlights, shall we? How about this double bomb kill with the Arado 234 Charlie? From my Leo A1, 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 A1 first 10. To continue with the positive AR-234 Charlie highlights, check out the time I snuck in on a ZSU-23 at extremely low level. Also from my Leo A1A1A1A1 first 10. Dead bug. Then there was the long distance phone call I made to a rocket Yag Panzer Hot. Or there was the time I found the cheap alternative to buying bushes for Golden Eagles.
sadly, the effect is only temporary. Also, this one time, I hit an M103 directly with a rocket. Right, Squaw? And I also hit some rocks directly. Right, Squaw? And then there was the time I had an extremely close <laughs> encounter with a wild duck. And then, when I was squatted with Dab right, Daddy... got one 10 o'clock high. Three o'clock, way high. Uh, he's going after Halifax, so... The BF-109 sweeping in at your uh, eight o'clock. And you, did you get him? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Please tell me you got that recorded. Sometimes you just don't need a second angle for a highlight. But I usually make a second angle anyways. Now yes, I realize if I had dropped that bomb a little farther and where those Tigers were, I would have gotten more kills, but I could only see the AAA firing, so that's what I aimed at. Then there was that time that I was just in the right place at the right time. Do you remember the first time that I fired at an enemy tank with my M8 Scott? Now, the only thing that I really need to say about this highlight is... Oh yeah! This was a fun little sequence. Uh, did you get Avenger for that? Notice my engine is completely gone. Glide mode activated. Did you not get a hit on him? Is that your runway or theirs? Nice. Then I decided I was going to land on their runway. Because what else choice did I have? Do, do you think they'll let you land? And the answer is no, they won't. Uh, you might have scraped up the top a little bit on that one. Bias comes in giant pill form sometimes.
Or it comes in Object 906 first 10 form. And the first quarter ended strong with this IL-28 kill that ended rather beautifully. And we end the first quarter highlight reel with a guest appearance and also a hilarious fail moment. This will be amazing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh, fuck wolves going for a dive. Now for some background, we had told this BTD to come and torpedo Ash because he was stuck broken but floating and alive in the middle of the water. Because it would have been a funny highlight. Oh my oh god, this god. is amazing. Oh dear. This is so amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh dear. He missed. He missed. Oh boy. What? Oh. He missed. Oh my god. <laughs> he fucking... He... he missed with both. compilation right there. <laughs> so you missed the biggest aircraft in the game. <laughs> That's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the first quarter highlight reel. I look forward to bringing you three more of those this year for the other three quarters remaining. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about in the comments, and we'll see you soon for some more highlights.